cuties and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today I am back with another part of my CC Bible series. It is the series in which I show you guys my favorite items of each of the different categories in The Sims 4. The two previous parts of this I was looking at female and male hair. I will link the playlist up right now so you can go check it out if you're interested in that. But today I want to focus on makeup, which is something that I think is a very important in the game, especially since the video I did on Monday, where I was trying to create a sim without using custom content, which was wild. Um, <laughs> I noticed how bad the makeup in game is. I never use it, yeah, so you know, I, I had no idea, but uh, it just made me appreciate my custom content makeup so much more. And today I want to share my very favorite item items from the makeup category. So the first thing we're gonna look at today is this adorable eyeshadow by Chewy Butterfly. They just make amazing makeup. It's all very like unique looking, very colorful, very fun. If you are interested in more like very out there makeup, then Tree Butterfly is definitely the way to go. Um, there's so much CC that I don't know how to use because I'm not fashionable enough to use it on my Sims. <laughs> but this eyeshadow is one of those where I really love it because it's really out there. Obviously it looks way better with an eyeliner. Um, we can pair it later on when we move into the eyeliners, but it's just one of those eyeshadows that is just colorful enough, but still not so crazy that I am, um, unsure of how to use it. It's just so much fun. I love the little like highlighter detail on the inner eye there. It's just so beautiful and I need to use this eyeshadow way more than I currently do. Another eyeshadow that I really like is this one by Cryptic Sim. I have had this in my game for Ever, and it's just the perfect like subtle little eyeshadow. It comes in so many different colors, also some like multi-colored versions. And I think it's just so perfect to add that like a little bit of color. You know, it's just a pop of color. It's not too much at all. It's just very subtle, but I think you can do so much with this. You can do like a smoky eye look with the darker ones, you know, and when you pair it with an eyeliner, it is just so gorgeous and so versatile. And then this last one is by Miko and I really love this one for similar reasons why I love the one we looked at before. It's just even more subtle and I love the little sparkling detail. It's just so cute and on certain sims this is just oh, everything you need. This pink is also so cute and the sparkle in it is absolutely adorable. I just love this eyeshadow and have been using it so 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 much. Then the next category we're gonna move in is the eyeliner category. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is this liner. We call it water line liner. I don't know what you call it in English, but um, I have been loving this for the longest time. Had it in my game for such a long time. And it's just so adorable, you know, especially like this one in the lightest color, I think just adds so much to a makeup look. There's also some darker ones for like certain occasions that works. And there's like a lot of colorful ones. So you could definitely you know spice it up with this water liner then the next one here I've had in my game maybe for like I want to say like half a year or something maybe it's been longer um, but Willikmer Willikmer I don't know how to pronounce the creator's name so sorry about that because I have been loving all of their makeup especially the eyeliners are just so pretty I love this one especially because it's like a little bit smudged so it looks a tiny bit more natural than the very like thick eyeliners and I think it's just so versatile. You can use it on so many looks. And this one is so subtle that, you know, it just adds a little bit of something, especially to your Sims that you want to keep like very natural. I just love this eyeliner so much. And then obviously the black one is a little bit more noticeable. And I think it just looks so gorgeous with all kinds of different eye shapes, which is always a bonus because I think certain eyeliners only work with certain eye shapes, but this is just perfect for like all of the different eyes you could imagine. Um, um, then this eyeliner by Chief Whiskers, I believe the CC creator is called. I have had in my game for 
an eternity. I love it so much. I think it's just the perfect liner. I never use these ones with a little heart. Um, I definitely could. It's kind of cute, but it's just not my, my personal preference. I always use the ones without hearts, but it comes in like a lot of different colors as well, even though I usually only use this swatch. And I think it's just the perfect eyeliner. It has like the perfect wing to it. Um, this is just for me perfection and I love it so much I've been using it for years and I could not I could just not imagine my game without it the next one is again by Will Eekmer. it's just another liner that is similar to this one that we looked at but it's thicker and not smudged and I think this just like the eyeliner we looked at before is just so perfect it's a little bit thinner and I think this works so well especially on like rounder eyes because it's kind of long so it like elongates the eye and I think it's just so pretty um, there's also this crazy one that's like just white which I have never used but I mean it is a look if that's what you go in for I just usually don't go that crazy with my makeup but I love this one so much and then the last one is by cryptic sim again and this is just such a cute eyeliner it kind of combi combines like the waterline with just a thin tiny eyeliner and it's just so pretty and so subtle yet I feel like it does so much um, there's obviously like a lot of different colors and I have been loving this ever since I downloaded it and I just quickly wanted to go back to the eyeshadow so you could see what they look like with a liner like how cute is this um, also think it looks very good with this liner I think it just gives you a better impression of how the eyeshadow would look in your game you know especially this one because it's so out there I feel like without the eyeliner it doesn't really work but with the eyeliner how gorgeous is this look the next category I want to move into is blushes and we're gonna start with this one by simulation cowboy I have had this in my game for Ever. like I cannot even imagine not having it in my game it's so cute because it adds some color to like the nose the cheeks also the collarbones a little bit and especially since they have updated the way makeup works and you can play it around with the opacity a little bit this has become so much more versatile because I just love playing around with these blushes so much because I would never use this blush because it's just way too much color like I think it's um, very over the top but you can you know scale it down to where you like it and right there I feel like it looks so cute and adds so much like freshness to her face then there's also this one by Symbians which I think is like called love drunk this is also a really really old blush and I believe it's only available on some file share that they shared a while ago so you know how old it is but I think it's so cute it, I just love when the blush like hits under the eye again you can play around with like the opacity and just make it work for whatever style you prefer and there's also versions where it's only on the cheeks and I believe there's one where it's yeah only on the nose so you can really just go for whatever you want and then the last one is this one by Cryptic Sim again called Darling and I have had this in my game for a few months and I just love it so much because it just really like highlights the cheekbones and I think that is so pretty again you can play around with the opacity and with this one I believe as well you can play around with all of the other options like the brightness and saturation and everything so uh, you can really achieve the color you want and I just think it's so pretty and suits so many different sims as well next up is is my very favorite category I think the ones of you who have been here for a while will know this um, lip glosses especially I just cannot without this one by Alejandro I don't know I hope I pronounced that correctly uh, <laughs> has been the very first gloss I have ever had in my game and it's probably like over two years since I've added this to my game and I love it so much there's so many different colors I usually like to go for this one right here because it's just like a translucent one and it goes with like every single sim and skin color and whatsoever obviously keep in mind that she has a skin detail on so the way her lips look is a little bit changed because of the skin detail but it just works so well with like all different sims and I think this is such a gorgeous gloss and I think it's just set like a staple in the CC world for Maxis Match creators to start experimenting with glosses because before this I have only ever seen like lipsticks around um, talking about lipsticks this one by Chief Whiskers is just so 
cute as well. I have not been using it as much lately because I have been crazy about glosses lately, um, but definitely also a staple in my Mots folder. I love it so much because there's like literally every color you could think of. I love it especially for like a more nude look for my Sims. You know, you can really just find a color that looks very nude on your Sim. And I love that so much, especially for when you have like a very crazy eye makeup. I think it's so cute. And then this next one is a gloss that I have not had in my game for very long, but literally ever since I added it, it was made by Urban Sim, who is also a YouTuber, which I'm sure all of you know. And her gloss is just, oh, it's like chef kiss. Honestly, this is the perfect gloss. I do not know how I lived before I had it. <laughs> it's very similar to this one, but you will see when we move into face paint, there's also a liner that goes with it. And the liner really makes this just so perfect and then the last one is this one by sunlit cries and it's also just such a cute gloss i get asked about this when i use it in my thumbnails all the time it's just so perfect i love the kind of nude look with this one like i think these two colors are the only ones I ever really use. There's like very bright ones as well, but I only ever really use this and this color. Occasionally I use like the that one or this one, depending on um, the look I'm going for. But this one is like, oh, I love it so much. <laughs> I can't even express how much I love it. And the last category we're gonna have a look at today is the face paint category. Honestly, I always wish I could put on more than one face paint item at a time because I usually just want to put on everything at once and I can't. So it's always a hard decision to see if I wanna go for a highlighter or the lip liner or um, the catch light or a liner, you know, it's just, ooh, <laughs> life crisis. Honestly, I have to go through a life crisis every time I have to pick a face paint. The first one here is just this very cute like catch light for the eyes and I think especially with the eye preset that I use I love this first swatch I think it's just so pretty and there's like all different ones and they are just gorgeous I feel like it adds so much to a sims look it just really brightens it up and then again we have this liner again that I was talking about in the liner category as well you can choose it as a face paint too which is just awesome so you can kind of like mix and match it with like all different eyeliners and eye makeup the next thing here is probably one of my very favorite items I have in game it's by Emmy Bukki. I don't know how you pronounce her username, but that's that. <laughs> and it's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. It's like the highlighter that ever since I've had it in my game, I have to use on every single sim. It also comes in the skin detail category. So if you'd rather want, you can also use it in the skin detail category, but it's just so cute. It also, you know, separates all the different areas. So you could just have the nose highlight or the one around the eyes, you know, you can really just play around with it and it I let me tell you it works on every single sim especially since you can play around with like the opacity you can just make it work for the sim you have and it's just oh, it does so much like if we just remove it now like look how much it added to her face it's just so cute and then the last thing here is the lip liner I was talking about I usually tone it down a lot there's like a version that's already a bit lighter and like more bled out I believe and it's just so cute I think it makes her lips look so gorgeous like compared to that so I don't know I just love this so much <laughs> I can't even express to you how much I love this lip liner and I wish I could use makeup like this um, in real life. I would look a million times better, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm a makeup dupe in real life, but I can live out my wildest dreams in The Sims. So yeah, those were my very favorite makeup items that I could not live without in my game. Let me know if some of those are things that you already have in your game that you also also could not imagine living without let me know what your favorite item of today was I cannot pick favorites here let me tell you these are already my favorites you know I already picked favorites like don't make me pick a favorite out of my favorites <laughs> let me know which category you want me to have a look at next for this series and I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next time bye Thank you.